Hello everyone, welcome to this video in which I am going to run you through how are we going to change from old syllabus accounting to new syllabus accounting. Firstly, I am going to run you through what part of your group 1 accounting is going to continue to be there under the new scheme advanced accounting. I will also run you through what part of your group 2 advanced accounting under old scheme will continue to be there under group 1 advanced accounting under new scheme. What should you be reading if you read only group 1 last time? What should you be reading newly if you read only group 2 last time? And if you read both the group accountings last time, what part of advanced accounting under the new scheme should you be learning freshly now? So let's get started. Under our old scheme, whatever the topics that we had relating to introduction to accounting standards, preparation of financial statements, ap applicability of accounting standards, AS 1, 2, 3, 10, 12, 13, 16, all of this will continue to be there in your advanced accounting under new scheme as well. Under module 2, we had preparation of financial statements and cash flow statement. This is also there in our new scheme of education advanced accounting. Profit pre and post incorporation which was your favorite chapter. Bonus issue and right issue which none of us know why it was in syllabus. And redemption of preference shares and debentures is not part of syllabus anymore. Preparation uh, of uh, accounting entries for bonus issue, right issue, preference shares and debentures are shifted to foundation. But profit pre and post incorporation is tata bye bye forever. Investment accounting is still there. You will still learn it under advanced accounting, insurance claim, higher purchase as well as departmental accounting is removed. Branch accounting survives, you would have to still learn it in advanced accounting and incomplete records is now pushed to CA foundation. So these are the topics what would be required to be read under the new scheme and certain topics what I marked it with red are the topics which are not required to be read under new scheme. Let us quickly see the same with regard to our new scheme with respect to advanced accounting. A's 4, A's 5, A's 7, 9, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 29. All of this is still there and will continue to have our topics of buyback, amalgamation, internal reconstruction. But whatever was there in our group 2 accounts previously, ESOP and liquidation are no longer there in our new scheme of education advanced accounting. And what we had in our module 3. Banking, NBFC are no longer there, but you will continue to have consolidation. So, this is overall understanding of what was there under old scheme, what will continue to be there under the new scheme. Now, to summarize the entire thing, I have prepared a quick chart with which you can understand what topic should you, what topic should you be reading under the new scheme of education. Whatever is there in red is what you already read in old group 1. Whatever is there in blue is what you already read in old group 2. If you wrote your group 1 examinations last time and if you have done complete comprehensive learning of group 1 accounting last time, then you would have to do all the blue topics which are here and you would have to do all the yellow topics. If however you did group 2 advanced accounting last time under the old scheme and now you are shifting to group 1 advanced accounting, under the new scheme you would have to do all reds and all yellows. Luckily if you have done both groups accounting last time and you have done it very well. You only have to read what's there in yellow in this new sheet. And what's completely new to us, which all of us have to learn, whether we've done group one last time or group two last time, is AS25 interim financial reporting, AS28 impairment of assets, AS15 employee benefits, and continuation of our consolidation 21 is 23 and 27. And when you are reading 23 and 27, it is very, very important that you revise entire AS21 and then walk into AS23 and 27. That is it for this video. For more such updates, please do follow, like and share this channel. And the entire sheet, whatever discussed, will be shared by way of a link in the drive to in the description to this video. And if you wish to subscribe or if you wish to take up the subscription of our entire group to advanced accounting or any other subject, the product details also will be there in the description to this video. See you all in the next one. Till then. Stay in the game.